So I wanted to show you what I did last night. I did not tape it because I didn't know how it was gonna turn out. And um, after the pancake debacle, I didn't really feel like doing two bad things on my one video. So I made these yesterday. These are lotion bars. They're full of wonderful healing lotion. And my skin has been so dry and these are, I love them. I mean, people may feel like they're a little greasy for them. I kind of like it greasy because my skin is super dry and it has to sink in. And it keeps me young. And I'm almost 59, so this is working pretty good, I think. Um, so anyway, I made this out of coconut oil, shea butter, and um, beeswax. Those are the three ingredients, and then I put some essential oils in them. And I'm gonna show you how I did it. These happen to have dandelions in them. And I got this idea from a girl in Calico. She has measurements on her website. I didn't use any measurements. I just eyed things. And uh, that might be why mine are solid looking and hers were more clear. But I decided that it would be really fun to make some out of grape hyacinths. So that's what I'm gonna do today for you. This beautiful grape hyacinths that I gathered and they are gorgeous and they smell just like grape. It's crazy. I want to show you over here. So this whole thing is full of those that I made last night. And I put a grape hyacinth in one. Don't even ask me why. I just thought it would be fun. All right, so I have some shea butter. I've had this for quite a few years. It's Fairtrade's shea butter. I got it at um, Whole Foods years ago. And then I have some coconut oil. And I've had that for quite a while too. And then I just have one little piece left of this beeswax. Now, this stuff's kind of expensive and I like to make my own deodorant out of it. Uh, when you do use beeswax and coconut oil and baking powder or baking soda, that's really great. So this batch, I might just make with some baking soda too, at least in some of them, because I'd like some deodorant. This deodorant really works for me. And uh, sometimes people are sensitive to the baking soda. I kind of am, so I have to keep it light, but it's really good to have, um, have this ready. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this double boiler. I put water in it, and then this is the top that goes into it. I actually purchased this at Salvation Army and um, for a couple bucks. They're now out of business. So I'm gonna save a few of these out, because maybe I'll put them in. These are so pretty, aren't they? They're so, so, so pretty. I might put them in a couple of them, but I gathered all the ones that I could from the yard and I'm gonna take these out and put that there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put some coconut oil and some shea butter in. I need my hands to do that. So I'm gonna start by getting a knife and putting some things in. I used to have to use a knife because this stuff is all kind of solid, solidified. So you wanna put it in with your flowers. This is an experiment. I don't know that the flower, the mixture is going to turn purple, but I'm hoping it might turn some kind of murky brown, right? But I'm going to try for the purple. So the shea butter is very moisturizing. It's, I find it to be the most moisturizing lotion that I can have. I mean, I've used a lot of lotion on my face and everything else, and a lot of it's watered down or it has alcohol in it, and there's no water or alcohol in this. This is just pure heaven. So I guess I'll put about that much in. I don't really know how much, pitch, how much to put. The more you put in, obviously, the bigger your bars will be. 
I'm gonna now get some almond oil. And I'm thankful I've had all this on hand. Um, because I don't wanna go out and get anything. And right now I'm working really hard on just using what I have in the house. So, coconut oil is good. It's a good antiseptic. I'm doing about equal parts each. And I'm going to basically let this melt. It's gonna be what I do. It's just the shea butter and the coconut. And I'm gonna let this melt. And I'm going to let it simmer for a whole hour. You can see in here, I've got it all mixed with the flowers. And I'm just gonna let it melt and simmer. And then I'll show you how it is working as we go. This is going with the double boiler. That water is gonna start to boil and that's gonna heat this up naturally. And then what's gonna happen is those pretty flowers are all gonna wilt and everything, hopefully the purple color, is gonna get mixed in with my coconut oil and shea butter and it's all just gonna mesh for a whole hour, just cook and all the properties from that, those hyacinths are gonna get into this. I did that last night with the dandelions and that's why this is more of a yellow color because of the dandelions. So really nice. And then when that's done, I've got this baking soda. That'll be interesting. And this, I'm gonna melt this in the microwave and then we're gonna add this to this solution without we're going to take the plants out we're going to take the plants out and i'll see what happens and then we're going to pour it into a muffin tin i have this already this is dirty from yesterday but that's what i'm going to have the melt this in and then put everything in and i put too much water in the double boiler oh crap i just got it cleaned up the towel is not absorbing the water. I don't know why. This towel isn't worth anything. But looks to me like I had the double boiler on too high and I had the water up too high. So first lesson to me. I didn't have that problem yesterday. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday when I started, I forgot to put water in the double boiler and it was all starting to burn. So, you know, hmm. so the oils are starting to melt. And so far, I don't see any evidence of the plants bringing any purple into that. It's all a guess. It always takes longer for the shea butter to melt than the oil. So that's going to be the first thing that, that gives you that melt. This is, this is much, the shea butter is, is much more thick, solidified. But that also means that that's what gives your lotion the more creaminess and less oiliness so if you want more creamy and less oily you go higher with the shea butter and lower with the coconut oil because i'm making this into um partly a deodorant i thought that i would do equal parts so i'm not saying that's good or bad you know certainly you can follow a recipe and that's going to give you a much more scientific thing. I have this, I have this issue with following recipes. I, it feels too confining to my creative soul. So look at that smelting very nicely. Looks so cute. All right. While I'm waiting for that mixture to mix, I am going to make some pancakes. And these are the pancakes that I like to make for myself. Yesterday I made sourdough pancakes. Today it's these don't have any gluten in them. And even though I can eat the sourdough and it doesn't bother my stomach, um, it does bother my joints. And I'm noticing that that my fingers and my knee and my toes are all feeling arthritic. So when I don't eat any gluten or sugar or dairy, I have none of those problems. 
but I can even sneak a little dairy and a little sugar without making my joints hurt. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm turning on my burner because yesterday that was a disaster. All right, second thing I'm gonna do is I have two very ripe bananas. We were gonna make banana bread, but that didn't happen. So I'm gonna make pancakes. So I'm gonna put my two very ripe bananas in my bowl and I will tweak it down there so you guys can see what I'm doing. Putting them in my bowl. All right, bananas. Done. Oh no, wait a minute. I don't want a bowl. What am I thinking? I do this in my Ninja mixer. Now I just dirty the bowl. All right, so this goes in here. Nice, nice Ninja mixer. Uh, two ripe bananas, two eggs, half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. That would be right here. This is what I use, unsweetened almond milk. Vanilla extract rolled oats, baking powder, cinnamon, salt, and olive oil. All right, let's get it. All right, I got my half cup thing, so I need a cup and a half of oats. I have oats right here. One, two, three. All right, I've got a half a cup of almond milk. I'm happy to use this because if I don't use it, um, then I have to throw it away. So I don't want to have to do that. So I've got that. For the baking powder, I need two teaspoons. So I have a teaspoon here. And we're going to get two of them. Something I don't want to mess up on because I like the rise. One, two. And I think I had a little too. I don't always do it too exact, and that's part of my problem. And let's see what else. We need the two eggs. We need the ground cinnamon. It calls for salt. I, I, I don't know, I'm just, it calls for a quarter teaspoon. There we go. This is our vanilla. <laughs> it's broken. It's all I can find. It's all we have. How much vanilla? See, in my book, it doesn't matter how much vanilla you put in. You just don't want to waste it. One teaspoon of vanilla. I've got my cinnamon. This calls for a half a teaspoon. I think you can't have too much cinnamon in there. I usually make things that don't have eggs because I'm pretty animal free, but sometimes I get lazy and I do the eggs. So, my family tends to like it better if it has eggs. So now I just put this on. This is so easy. Put this on. I love this Ninja. It's like the coolest thing. Right, pushing the junk down. Waste not, want not. All right, mix it again. I have my smoothie here. This has blueberries and peaches and lots of greens and super greens and chia seeds and flax seeds, kale, yeah, lots of stuff. So this is part of my breakfast, really yummy. And now my banana oat pancakes are on the grill. I'm gonna put, which isn't the best idea, but some, sometimes the girl's gotta do what she's gotta do in the middle of a crisis. Joy Life semi-sweet chocolate mega chunks, dairy nut and soy free. So um, just a little bit of dark chocolate makes me happy. I'm gonna tell you the camera makes you look a whole lot heavier. Over here, these pancakes look like they're ready to flip, although it's not. Oh.
I don't like it and it makes pancakes feel Yeah, this is me being happy homemaker. I'm really good at decorating, uh, but these other skills, obviously, I, it's not that I can't do it. It's, it's that I'm really ADD. And so I forget, like I forget that I'm cooking or I forget what I'm doing and then I leave it and then things burn or I forget to do something like turn on a griddle or grease it and then things get stuck and I don't realize that I've forgotten until it's too late. So that's kind of... So I'm wondering what would happen if I mashed it like um, they do with the grapes when they're making wine. I wonder if I mash it, if it'll be more purple. I am a natural girl. I use natural, I use vinegar and water when I clean. I, um, I try not to bring any toxins or anything in the house. I'm very sensitive to toxins. After I lost my health many years ago, I have to be just like really careful. It used to be that Tom would do the cleaning and he'd open all the windows so that we could have a clean house, but I wouldn't get sick from it. And then I discovered that I could get things clean very naturally. Now, ooh, this looks like it might be working. Either that or it's just, well, now I can't get, I don't want to take that out. I guess I'll just leave that in there. Oh, shoot, I forgot about my pancakes. See what I mean? Oh, I burned them. Dang. I just dropped this in here and I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I think this is probably steeped as much as it needs to. They say steep it for about an hour. You know, I mean, I guess you could let it go all day, but what's the point? I think that I've gotten the properties out of it right now. All right, so we've got that, that's very hot, and that is really sizzling hot. Take this and we're gonna strain, watch this. It's not as bad as yesterday, but man, does it sizzle. I'm gonna make sure I get all this stuff out. Guess what? It didn't turn purple. It is still yellow. Okay, just putting as much of this in it. <laughs> didn't need to do all that. I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, 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 I thought that was going to bubble. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Ah. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Help me, help me. What? Well, let me do. It's foaming. Is it supposed to do that? Oh, no. I don't know what that's going to look like. Very bad. These are ugly. I don't know how they're going to turn out either because they're all foamy. These are going to look very organic. And I have to wonder if they're just going to stick to the pan. I'm worried about that too. Well, that was a disaster too. So I'm going to head out right now and start potting some plants. And I'm not going to show that to you. It's probably better off that way.